Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here with your first look forecast for this February 19th. It is bitterly cold. In fact, we have just broken the all-time record low for this day, February 19th, as of 3 a.m. And as I record this at 3.50 a.m., a little bit early today, uh, the record was broken, minus 7. That's the new record now at the Bowling Green Airport for this day, breaking the old record low of 2 above set on this day in 1958. We said record-breaking cold would be here, and it's here as you're looking live down Scottsville Road. Still a little bit icy, but the, the roads, as I was traveling in, not too bad. There's some icy, snowy spots that have frozen over during the overnight hours, but uh, just use extreme caution if you're going to be out this morning. There's a look at the regional temperatures from the uh, airports around the area. And there's Bowling Green's seven below zero brand new record low this morning and record lows are being set all over the area this morning current mesonet temperature showing minus six here in bowling green 12 below zero in russellville 15 below zero in elkton these are not wind chill temperatures these are the actual air temperature the thermometer minus 11 in campbellsville and some of these numbers could go even lower just before sunrise, which is around 6.30 this morning. The winds, thankfully, are not all that bad, 5 to 10. But when it gets this cold, even a little bit of wind makes it feel like it's 20 to 25 degrees below zero. So when you're going out this morning, dress warmly, cover everything, everything. And even if you're going to be only out about 5 to 10 minutes, dangerously cold, don't even chance it. Doppler Max HD showing high pressure and control, clear skies across the area, and that has allowed the temperatures, of course, to bottom out where they are. Now, we have a wind chill warning in effect until 11 o'clock this morning. After 11 a.m., it goes back to a wind chill advisory for the rest of today, tonight, and into Friday. By the way, uh, Middle Tennessee has just issued a winter storm watch in anticipation of the next storm system that will be moving in for Friday evening. I'll talk about that in a second. There's our minus 7, minus 16 current temperature in Cape Girardeau, Missouri in the boot hill. Oof. Let's throw in a little bit of wind here and the wind chill. Our number doesn't change, but look at Cape Girardeau. It feels like it's 32 below zero there. Oof. This is incredible cold for our part of the country. Average high 51. We're calling for single digit highs today of 8. That would be a new record cold high. The coldest record high temperature for the day. We are going to moderate as you see there into the 40s Saturday and Sunday and I can change that graphic to not only records may break, they have broken at least one of them this morning. As we get back down to minus 9 tonight before we start to warm up. So let's talk about the next storm. We're already focused on it. Future Max predictor showing sunshine today and mainly clear tonight. It's Friday when we begin to cloud up and we're going to start unfortunately with a cold snowpack and temperatures still chilly. Friday afternoon we're going to begin to see a period of snow over Bowling Green. Now we could pick up another say inch or two of snow out of that before it changes to a winter mix about 7, 7.30 Friday night we could have a period of freezing rain and sleet. That's what the pink is indicating there. And then however long that period lasts, we hope it's not long, you see the changeover to rain. That's because temperatures are going to rise actually from uh, late Friday night into Saturday morning and change everything over to rain. And the rain could be heavy at times as you see there. 9 a.m. Saturday morning, lots of rain, one to two inches of rain maybe even a rumble of thunder. Can you believe that? From snow to record cold to thunder. This is Kentucky. Saturday 9 p.m. There's the front coming through with more heavy rain and there you see around the Nashville area that's some very heavy rain and even some thunderstorm activity. Uh, some thunderstorm risk back here to the south and west but man, this is crazy. And it's going to make a big mess because it's going to bring uh, some drainage problems, we think, uh, from the snowpack and trying to melt it and all the rain, two inches of rain. Uh, there could be some drainage and flooding issues. Snow likely Friday afternoon 
changing to a mix Friday night. Some snow ice accumulation possible, maybe a quarter inch of ice. Uh, hopefully that ice period there, freezing rain and sleet, won't last long late Friday. We get it to change over to rain on Saturday uh, from south to north on Saturday morning. But that's still very much in question, but this is going to be another hit on top of everything else that we've had to deal with this week. The most brutal week of winter weather in southern Kentucky in decades. And now, record-breaking cold temperatures. All right, the new seven-day forecast will be posted shortly at WBKO.com. We've got polar reports and all that stuff running. A lot of schools out for the rest of the week and all that, uh, plus updates on events and cancellations and things like that, businesses too. We've got all that there at WBKO.com. I'll see you live at 530. In the meantime, thank you for watching. God bless. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day.